When you start working with soa sweet and BPM, over time, especially when you're debugging some behavior, you may want to know more about the SQL that soa sweet is submitting to the database. You may want to know which tables within the soa infra schema are accessed, where are the records inserted, where are they updated, etc. In short, you may have a need to trace all the soa sweet SQL. In this short video, I'll show you how you can do this. Basically, we have to configure the logging for SOA Suite to do this. So log into Enterprise Manager, Fusion Middleware Control, select SOA Infra, and go to Logs, go to Log Configuration. And in here, look for, just type in SQL in the search box. And you should see Oracle SOA SQL Trace Fabric. So select that and change the logging level to Trace32. Make sure that you apply that change. One more thing you may want to do is configure the handler. So let's go there and select SOA Tracking Trace Handler, Edit Configuration. What I like to do sometimes is to temporarily turn off the log rotation so that I can see all the SQL in one file instead of uh, all your log statements spanning files. So if you want to do that, check both of these checkboxes off. The log pad tells you which file you'll see your logs in. Sometimes I like to change the name of this file, especially when I'm trying to debug some transaction and I want to isolate all the SQL submitted just for that transaction. If you do end up configuring your SOA tracking trace handler, just go back and take a look again at your log levels for the SQL trace. Because sometimes I've seen it getting reset when you change the log handler. Let's see this in action now. I'm going to use SOAP UI to submit a request to one of my BPM processes. And once I do that, we can go and inspect the log file and see all the SQL that was submitted. Let me submit this. Let's open the log file and take a look at it now. I'm in the J Developer System folder, default domain, servers, your integrated WebLogic server. The default server and logs and in there you should see a default SOA tracking trace file now I'm using this file because I renamed that file for my transaction I'm going to open that and in this file I can see all the SQL that's being submitted along with the bind values now if I wanted to look for all the insert statements I could look for it here Knowing how to trace SOA Suite SQL has been very helpful for me to understand how SOA Suite works under the covers. And I hope you find this information helpful as well.